Hello and welcome to a very very quick video about how to transfer between Mun and Minimus. My name's Root Negative and let's get cracking. Now this was asked on R Kerbal Academy, so I wanted to do this very very quickly to show how you go from the Mun to Minimus efficiently and how you get the job done. So I'm going to show you two ways. The first way will be the inefficient, reliable way. The second way will be the complicated, efficient way. That's my kind of view on things. I may be wrong uh, in regards to that. Uh, so open to debate there, but I'll give you my opinion and we'll go from there. So what we need to do is we need to go from something that's orbiting a parent body to another thing that's orbiting a parent body. So that means we need to transfer window. We need to make the burn at the right time. So that when, as this moves, okay, we leave at a time it moves and then we meet up at roughly the same point in space over here. That's roughly what we're doing. So we need the right transfer window and we need to hit it at the right time. So the way in which we do that, okay, is we make a transfer or we make a burn at a spot that puts our exit vector, so that's the point at which we leave the sphere of influence on a similar kind of line, we're about to break it, okay, a similar kind of line to the orbit that we're on. So this could actually, something like that I'm thinking. All right, now what we wanna do is we wanna aim to get our apoapsis over the orbit of the target. So we'll do that now. Right, so that's over the target. Wonderful. Now the Minimus is nowhere in sight, unfortunately. Okay, so that means that we're trying to transfer at the wrong time. Now there are some kind of ways to do this, but basically it's a bit of trial and error and a lot of patience. Now, normally what we'll do, okay, is once we've got that achieved, uh, we'll make a mid-course correction. So we drag this out, get this over the target's orbit, and then from there, we make a mid-course correction at the ascending or descending node, because that's the point at which our orbit crosses theirs. Okay, we make our plane change. Right, so now we get an appreciation for where everything sits. And we are probably a little bit away. So what we need to do is we need to get in a position that closes this gap so that instead of the target being here and us being here, we kind of meet at the same place in space. That's actually pretty cool. Meeting at the same place in space. It sounds like a very, very nerdy pickup line actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to march this forward exactly a quarter of an orbit and then we're going to see where that leaves us. So if we switch to this, so I can time warp a bit faster. Switch the map view, switch the moon. So I'm going to... Now the good thing about the moon and Minmus is the transfer windows are very very often. Okay, they hit different angles very regularly. So, we're at this kind of um, orientation now. So I'll switch back to my transfer trainer so that I can fully demonstrate this first method of um, basically get the encounter, okay, get it close, make a mid-course correction to fine tune everything from there. Okay, got that. Rightio. Let's have a look at it, see where that sits. Okay, so that's there. And actually, I believe that that's not going to be in a great spot. Uh, so, that's not going to work because you can see where my orbit actually crossed was behind where the planet was at that very moment in time. So, I'm going to switch back to this lander and look for a better transfer window. Now, I think. I think from memory, it's uh, 9 to 12. So right now we're at 12 to, um, sorry, that's 12 to 9. I think it was 12 to 3. It was actually the uh, alignment that we're looking for. So that's uh, 12, 12 to 6. Oh, I've got an alarm going off. I need to actually, can I extend this?
Close enough. I'll let that go. So this this is twelve to six. Close enough. Thank you. Now this okay, this is twelve to three. Well actually that's probably a good spot right there. Now then, let's try again, see if this is a better alignment. And as I said, it takes patience. Rightio. So we've got that set as our target. Again, again, set up a prograde transfer. And a prograde transfer is anything that comes out the prograde side of the orbit. Now, what we're doing here is actually planetary. Okay, it's planetary um, transfers, just on a smaller stage. Because you can imagine that if Kerbin is the Sun, and Mun is Kerbin, well then Minmus is effectively Duna. Or if you reverse it, and assume that Minmus is Kerbin, the Mun becomes Eve, from a, a theoretical approach kind of standpoint. Now this actual, this alignment here is actually going to get me the more efficient transfer. So 9 to th 3 is actually going to get me the easier one. So you notice that I get an intercept right around the AN. And this is actually bloody close. I'd be happy with that. Okay, you can see that the planet, okay, when we arrive, the planet is, you know, a little bit below the horizon. So we're going to come in a little bit high. If I jump over to Minmus, we'll actually be able to see that here. Okay. So you can see that I'll come in a little bit high because of that inclination difference. But that's the second method. Okay, so make the transfer so that you meet it not only at the same place in space, but also that same place in space happens to be at the ascending or the descending node, because that's where the planet will actually be as well. So that's talking about inclined, oops, I am in the map view. So that's talking about planets on an inclined orbit. The transfer to Eve and to, um, well, to Duna, to Eve, it's not too bad because it's not too badly inclined. Same with Jewel, it's it's pretty straightforward. They're all kind of on a plane. But when you start talking about Drez or even Elu, uh, making those transfers so that you hit it at the ascending or the descending node, which you know is different spots, that saves you lots and lots of delta B on a big scale. So to answer the question as to how you do it, basically wait to the moon is uh, three o'clock, and if Mem misses twelve o'clock. Make a prograde burn out of the sphere of influence. Do it. It should be about 190 meters per second, give or take a little bit, and that'll get you very, very close. Uh, what you could do is at, you know, some point a couple of days beforehand. Okay, so I'm focused on Mimus right now. Okay, I've got my maneuver over here. I can actually play around with this and see what some some changes do. And I could burn like this. Whoop, that's the wrong way. I want to move it closer. Remember closer. Oh, I'm getting further away here. That means my timing's out. Uh-huh. So I need to be a little bit quicker on the burn. And see that I've got a 197. So I would prefer to make a mid-course correction here. So that gives me a little bit more granularity over it. I can be a little bit more finer in my control. If I delete this, delete, I come back to this maneuver node. Damn it. Okay, come back to this maneuver node, and now I start to try and play around with everything out here. You notice that the smallest change is going to make a really big difference. If you can do it like this, you'll get no really nice results. You can see that that's at that. Ooh, you see, it's very twitchy. I'm, I'm, I'm losing the encounter very easily yeah, that's that's kind of nowhere okay so that's that's pretty close and it's hard to balance this down and then it's hard to make the burn because you notice that I was at 187 I'm at now at 189 and I'm a little bit closer so that's how you do it that's how you transfer from Mimus to the moon uh, there's the easy way there's the hard way the hard way actually is fairly easy with that kind of method uh, now that I'm thinking about it. So good luck with it. And if you've got any questions, please ask. Our Kerbal Academy is a great spot.